What's up, party animals? Manny Laura here from FantasyCruncher.com, here to go through a quick League of Legends stacking tutorial. If you've been playing League of Legends and have had success, congratulations. If you haven't, hopefully these tips help you stack better, improve your ROI, and have fun playing League of Legends. It's, it's pretty frustrating. We don't have the major sports, but uh, if we have eSports, we have to learn it, and hopefully these tips help. So let's just get right into it. Here you have uh, the Fantasy Cruncher League of Legends page. If you go to eSports and you go to DraftKings, LOL, that's where I'm at right now. For this example, we're going to go to the Advanced Options, and we're going to go to the Team Stacks tab. This is where you do, I'd say, 90% of your stacking for League of Legends, just like you do MLB, right? Uh, so first off, you'd want to add a stack. Uh, in this case, we want to add two different types of stacks. We're going to add four threes and four twos. If you don't know what that means, hold on just a second. First of all, we'd have to add four players to one side. We're going to add all teams to be eligible. So I just click the Add All button. And they're all available to be 100%. We'll get into that in just a second. But all this does is it forces at least four players from one team in all of my lineups, right? That's what a stack is. Uh, here you see LGD has one, two, three, four players. And just like that, uh, as many lineups as I make, all of them at a minimum will have four players. It could be from any team, but it has to have at least four players. The other three could be totally random. If we go back to the advanced options uh, to this page again, we'll add another stack, this time saying three players, probably the most popular type of stack in League of Legends DFS. Uh, we're also going to add all teams to be eligible. And now if we go back and make lineups, this would make every single lineup at least have four threes. All right, can't have anything else. So you'll see four players from one team. You'll see these three from the other. And as you go down, you'll see something similar. If you want differentiation, all you have to do is you can limit these to 20% each. All that means is you won't have more than 20% of each team in your fours. You also won't have, I don't know, let's set this to 15, sorry, 15. You won't have more than 15% of each team as your mini stack, which we call in this case the three-man stack. And if you were to make lineups like this better, you'll see that you'll have a little more differentiation, right? You'll have this 4-3, you'll have this 4-3, and as you go down, you'll see uh, all different types of stacks. Uh, but all follow the same rule of having four men from one team and three men from the other team. You do this for correlation purposes, right? The other one that I want to label, and for this example, we'll just leave it at 100. The other one I wanted to label was the 4-2 stack. And usually you'd use this when you have three or more games in a slate. And this will just get you different. Most of the top players in the industry are using four threes right now. And if you use four twos, it could set you apart from, from most of the players, which is exactly what you want as these tournaments get bigger. Uh, it'll give you more differentiation. You can be somewhat contrarian in a sport that's pretty difficult to get contrarian, I think. Uh, so four twos do the trick. Uh, and they also don't lose you much EV, if any, at all. They, they have equal amounts of upsize. As, as the other types of stacks in this in this sport, right? So you'll leave 4-2, and again, if we were to go and make lineups now, you'll see that at a minimum, you'll have four from one team, you'll have two from another team, and the third could be anything. It could be from the same team if it wanted to, it could be from a different team, it could be whatever, right? I'll leave you guys with a little nugget here at the end. Sometimes in some, line, some lineups like this one, you'll have your four-man stack include the team which usually you don't want that, right? If you want to stack four people or four players from one team and the team crushed, you want all their players, not their actual team, right? Although their team isn't bad, uh, you usually want their players because players obviously score a ton, right? So uh, in order to avoid lineups like this, uh, and this is just a tad bit more advanced, you'd go to the position stacks tab and say, j just create a sentence here with exactly what you want, right? I want to stack the team, the team, with at most two players from, and then just uh, select all the positions here, saying you don't want your team to be paired with more than two players from the same team, that'll avoid you having the team as part of the four-man stack, because if it was part of the four-man stack, it'd have to stack it with three players from the same team, and right here, we're capping it at most from two, right? So it could only be as part of the mini stack here, and that's exactly what you want. Now, if you were to make lineups here and say, you know, four twos again, you'll see that the team is never going to be part of the four man stack. And that's kind of what we want here. If you wanted more control and if you wanted to avoid something like this, of course, you don't have to. It's all up to you. 
but something that I know uh, some of the top players are toying with and, and you guys deserve uh, to know everything. Hopefully, hopefully this has taught you guys some stuff. So uh, hopefully this, this, this helped you guys out a little bit. If you're new to stacking and you still have questions, feel free to join the Fantasy Cruncher Discord, a bunch of like-minded players talking each and every day, helping each other out. And of course, you have access to us. Ask us any questions you want. We'll be more than happy to help. Good luck in League of Legends, and I'll catch you in another video.